Welcome, welcome, welcome to Basketball Heads Live, the number one basketball podcast for New York City basketball. Up next, we have hip-hop legend and one member of the legendary rap group Capone Noriega. Capone coming to tell his story. So stay tuned for Basketball Heads and the Capone episode. Stay tuned. Peace. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Basketball Heads Live. I'm your host, Glenn Poole Hardy. And tonight, we have a very special guest. This basketball head is a hip-hop legendary MC from a legendary group in Queens. This group album, The War Report, was a commercial and critical success, reaching top five on the Billboard charts with certified gold status. And they helped revive the hardcore sound on the East Coast with classics like T-O-N-Y, Invade and Y, Multiply, y'all know the rest. What about Phone Tap? And who could forget LA, LA, Big City of Dreams? During the height of the East Coast versus West Coast beef. But now this basketball head has joined forces with Daz Dillinger from the nominated group, The Dog Pound, to form the super group CND. On top of being a member of two super groups, he is currently working on his solo album, releasing music under his Akashi Music Group. The latest single, Marbin, is available now on all platforms. He also has a clothing line called Akashi Collection. In 2020, his street education EP called Wolves with Lack, the hip hop educator. The pair have formed a brand new brand called Smart Thug and will continue to release education, educational hip hop projects together. Now, after all that, I know my basketball heads are asking, what this have to do with basketball? Well, my next guest is not just a legendary MC and businessman, but he started out as a youngster playing ball. So, without further ado, help me welcome to the show, hip-hop legendary MC from the group Capone and Noriega. Capone! Y'all ready? Y'all ready? ready? Yes. Yes. yes! You have you just stepped out into, into, into the world, the world of, of chaos. chaos. Where everybody, Where everybody goes, goes hard. hard. Come on, come on. Go hard. Tickets cause the game about to start. What's good, family? How you doing, brother? I'm good, baby. I'm good. I can't call out and throw my glasses off so I can see properly. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yo, Capone, I'ma need some. Trust me. I'll be like this, looking at people like your pool. You better put some glasses on. I gotta get some glasses too, my G. Ah, uh, we in the Look same good yours, man. What's good, man? Salute to you, man. For sure. I see, I see the trophies in back, baby. You looking good. Thank you, thank you, thank you, man. Listen, a lot of my trophies ain't making through the years, right? But I got my guy, Eric Hicks, at Game Over. This is his trophy, fam. He invented wow. this. Wow. And it that's looks like it. us, right? That's, so that's the trophies great. We used to get back in the day. What? They really look like us. It didn't look at, at all. That's so, crazy. I, I, we get we had our award show New Year's Eve last year, you know, mm -hmm. celebrating the half year that I was on, and my guy hooked me up. This is uh yeah, student athlete award that we gave out. Man, but I want to tell you, man, I appreciate you, my brother. One of my greatest groups of all time, one of my dopest MCs. Glad to have you here, man. Thank you, family. Thank you. Can you cut that? So listen, I put up this post about mm -hmm. the top 
rappers who play ball. Top New yeah. City rappers who play ball. Yeah, yeah the shitload of got MCs came on and wanted to know play ball. <laughs> you was one of the first ones. Word, I see the word. That's crazy. I was like, come on, fam. I had to go and check. I was like, y'all ain't too early. Was this true? He was like, yes. Sadat yeah. X, listen, you're my first MC on here. Sadat X was supposed to be the first. Well, I, I beat Sadat X. I, 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 I feel good. I beat Sadat X, right. my man. I beat Sadat X. Shout out Sadat X. You I are beat the first. That's point. right. That's my right. guy right there. Check this out. I always ask all my guests, who introduced you to the game? Basketball game? Yes, yes. We're going to talk basketball first. Uh, you know, I'm used to hip-hop shit. I got I to gotta get in my basketball mode. My bad, my bad. <laughs> Word. But uh, I think probably, I, I think I just fell in love with it. Because coming from Queensbridge, uh, I was one of the, I, I grew up on a fortunate block that had a basketball court. Right across from me lived Ron Artest. His block didn't have a basketball court. And that nigga made it to the league. So that's crazy. Yeah, my black had a basketball court, you know what I'm saying? So I grew up on uh, 41st side of 12th Street. And honestly, my black is probably the first black that started having the black tournaments. Well, maybe the dime, maybe the dime. But my black eventually became the black, you know what I'm saying? And basketball was, that was it. You was either, in my hood, you, it was no football. You was playing basketball, stickball, you know what I'm saying? Handball, you know what I'm saying? Words. So, you know, like, these kids got to understand. You know, they talk about we active outside. No, fam, we was really active outside. We was active. We, yeah, we was active, man. We was we was uh, seeing things, going to other hoods just to play sports, just to play ball. Like, these kids go to other hood now to fight, to throw up signs. Nah, check, play some basketball. Facts. Do some push up Do something, you know what I'm saying? Put the guns down and let's have fun like we used to do. And play stickball. Like, people don't understand. Stickball was the shit. Yo, hold, hold on, fam. Hold on. Did, did y'all have the stickball with the tape on the on the, Of on course. The hand you, you had to, because that shit would fly out your hand and hit somebody's <laughs> mouth on their head. Boy, you know, right. the, you know the vibes. That you'd be like, stick me on the second floor. So we'd be like, oh. So you had right. to take the joint up. You know what I mean? Like, we, yeah, we, 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 in my hood, it was who could roof it. Like right, we had right. the sixth floor, so you know whoever roof it, poof, he was the man. My man, uh, Trip, Godfather Part Three, he was like yeah, yeah. the king of the roofs. You know what I mean? He roofed everything. He was the man. Shout out Godfather say, Part Three. One time, I could say one time, I plastic ball. I hit the uh ball in somebody's bathroom. It didn't get to the roof, <laughs> but it was the seventh floor bathroom. Wow, if you're the king of the roof, playing stick ball and the peas. You're the man. You the man. You the man. That's dope. That's dope. Right, we, right. Man, I love this talk. I love this talk. It's not generic rap shit, man. I love right, it. Right. Oh well, man. So we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna have some fun. I'm here, so, I'm here, baby. When you was coming up, who was the best yeah. player, the ball player that everybody looked up to in the hood? In my hood, probably we had a few, man. We had I ain't gonna lie, like, because my hood consists of blocks. So every block had basically a top tier, you know, ball player. But the, the the ones that stood out in my hood was Lloyd, you know what I'm saying? Rest in peace. You know what I'm saying? Uh Spud. Spud was super nasty. You know what I'm saying? Uh Troy Battle. Uh uh but then we also had NBA players, you know what I'm saying? Sean Green, you know what I'm saying? Like Ron, you know, we got Yo, we got hold on, players. let's slow down. Let me start coming. That's that we talk about era. Sean All right, Green cool. Is my yeah. guy. Yeah. Sean Green is my guy. My guy from the hood. Sean Green in a dunk contest, throw the ball between his legs and dunk it. This before J.R. Ryder. I seen him and Mark Brown do it before J.R. Ryder in the 80s. Like I seen that. I used to watch him in the hood going in. Sean know me. He know me. That's my guy. You know what I'm saying? I was, like how we say, we. I was active, man. I was... I was out there hooping, man. I was if I wasn't hooping, I was watching the games. I know exactly yo, you fuck, who yo, you everybody. You fucking me up with this right now. You yeah. fucking me up with this right now. I'm People don't even know Sean. And I was Charlotte, like, no, like, like, bro, you are definitely the, the, before Ron Artest. We had Sean Green, baby, NBA That's representative right. out of Queens. Hold on, we we gonna make some noise. Straight right up, now and I can't forget Sean thirty. Green. 
in the building. Mm -hmm. August Martin Gray. Yeah. August I Martin Gray. All them basketball schools. All of schools. that. Fact. Come on. If this is New York ball, in case y'all don't know, in case y'all don't that's understand right. what we talking about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, that, that's what I grew up on, man. I used to go to LaGuardia house. Come on. Look what I'm talking about. Look what I'm talking Hold about. On. You leave the queen to go and tell? Of course. We had to go to LaGuardia house. I had to watch. I had to, I had to see who's... You had Sham Guard and all these dudes that were super nasty at the time. Uh, 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 Felipe and all these niggas coming out of New York. And you had... Oh, you know who was my man? Uh, Conrad McCray, baby. Rest what? in peace, Conrad. Rest in peace, Conrad. Nasty. nasty. I know I know what I'm talking about, champ. I was active. Yo, I was fam. at the games. I was at the games. You are yeah. on this you basketball head for real. Yeah. Man, listen, you know how dudes be like, I had to G check them? Nah. Basketball head. I had to basketball check you. Fan, yeah. you're on this you. Yeah, you're we can keep you. going. You know what I'm saying? Because I was there. Like, that was my sport. That's what I, I had. Same way your, your background look, that's how my crib look. I, it'll tell you St. Rita's days. And the crazy thing is, all my homies, that you know, growing up and 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 went and did other things in life, we all started at St. Rita's. Every gangster in my hood right now that people may know by music, you could f go to St. Rita's Isle guys and see Lakey the Kid, Freeze, me, Mad Child, the other Mad Child. Both Mad Childs then they could have went to the league. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, like yeah, I was active in the, in the gym, baby. Wow. Yo, you're, yo, you're blowing my mind. First of all, <laughs> if you're official basketball head in New York City, you had to play CYO. There you had to. Right? There was CYO. Then you got introduced to the NYCHA, the house yeah. tournament. Yeah. That right? was great. Like, yeah. we talk about all the New York greats, they talked about coming on here. St. Yeah. Reed is one of the uh, CYO. Yeah, St. Reed. Team that was mentioned. When we talk about St. Joe's. St. Joe's. We had Joel in them at St. Joe's. You had uh man, I can keep going. I tell yeah, you, you yo, man, aim high. You had tournaments like aim high. Like, that's right, that's Kenny right. Smith, Smith. You know what I mean? Vincent right. Kenny Smith, you know what I'm saying? And you know, like, like it was crazy for me coming up to be a part of that era because I seen a lot of dudes go to the league, but then I seen a lot of dudes that didn't go to the league that should have went to the league. Remember El Amin? El Amin was nice. Yes. He, yeah, well, me had yeah. the wild and, look, and he wasn't even from New York. But he was dope. If you no ball, and you looked at El Amin, you probably yeah. slept on him. You probably right. slept on him because he the way he was shaped, and he wasn't from New York. But New York respected him because his oh, handle sure, was a New sure. York handle. Everybody that played in the in, in college and at that time, if they had a wicked handle, they be like, they gotta be from New York. That's he facts. You know what I mean? Facts. You know what yeah, I mean? Real. So. Yeah, man. Yeah. So, what what was the first team you played on, and what was your first game like? My first team I played on was for St. Rita's, man. And my first game, we lost fifteen to one, and the one point score was my foul shot. It went in, but the crazy shit, we played St. Bart's. St. Bart's ceiling was like eleven feet. Like you had to shoot your free throws straight, like. St. Bart's had the lowest. We tried to boycott. I think every team in CYO tried to boycott them because they won every game just because they practiced on a low-ass ceiling. So we shooting jump shots to the joint, hit the ceiling. Boing, you know what I'm saying? Like, right, right. Yeah, but, yeah, that was, yeah, St. Rita's, novice. I won MVP every year up to intermediate. I won that MVP every year to my man Tyree. He came in and he, he he thought he was baby Jordan. I had to trip him a few times. My own teammate, boom. You know what I'm saying? But that was the fun days. You know what I'm saying? That was the Word fun up. days. Wow, that's crazy. So I know after that first game, you guys got a little bit better. Did you start to just mm -hmm. roll a little bit more points? Yeah, we we wound up uh, winning the chip about two or three times. Two 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 times. I remember Lou first. Lou Gons was coaching. Then Mike was coaching. So yeah, two times. Yeah, Luke, yeah. Luke Gons, you know, you yeah. know that name. Rest in peace, Luke Gons. You know, fast. Hank Carter, Luke Gons. You know the wheelchair classic. If you don't yeah, know the wheelchair yeah, classic, yeah. you don't know none of that. Yo, you got to know Hank Carter to be from New York. Come on, yo, my man. Come on, the fish. First of all, I'm glad you first. 
because you're official, right? Niggas got to come up. They going to do their homework out this season. I didn't play uh, guessing things. Mm -hmm. All the key players. Nah, wow. we, we we chopping it up. This ain't even an interview. This is memory lane for us, you know what I'm back, saying? We're back. with it. Well, I just ain't got my trophies, you know what I mean? But It's all good. You know, it's all good. That, them, you them are the trophies, man. You are the trophy. Thank you. Thank you, family. I back. appreciate it. I appreciate back. it. Well, but, yeah. Who were some of the community organizers back then on your mm. block that put together the tournaments? We want to give them some love. Yeah, you know, uh, Hank Carter, uh, you had the whole, uh, like, CY, uh, like, at that time coming up, it was it was more of a, uh, like, we played in re-center in the hood. You know what I'm saying? That was that was where all the basketball took place before it started getting outside, like they did the courts over. Because we got to remember, we still coming up in the crack era. Right, So right. shit was I still know, real, yeah. you know yeah. what I mean? Right. It was still real outside, so it didn't get to, like, you know, 90, 89, 88 to where it was safe to actually play 80, 90 where it was safe to play outside ball because uh, it was crazy, you know what I'm saying, in Queensbridge. So we played all the basketball in the center. So I want to give one person their flowers, man, and, and he passed, man. But he was the actual one who brought every beef, every block that this didn't like each other every gangster in my hood together and, and and made him play ball and we played ball now it's bob reese you know what i'm saying and bob reese any anybody from queensbridge who played ball like you know like he saved a lot of lives you know what i'm saying and i'm getting a little emotional he saved a lot of lives bob reese because it was times nobody had nothing to eat. Nobody had no money to, to, to buy nothing. And Bob, and, yeah, take this dollar, get out of here. You know what I'm saying? Older white man didn't have to do it. He's not. He's not one of us. But he was more than one of us than a lot of one of us. And I want to give it up to Bob Reese, man, because that Jacob A. Reese Settlement Center, his name wasn't really Bob Reese. They called him Bob Reese because he was the man. He made every generation in my hood better. You talking Bob about Reese. you talking about Jacob Reese, Reese Beach, Reese Park? Oh, everything Jacob Reese is. Hold on, everything Jacob Reese. That's him. But Bob worked in. That's not him. But I'm saying okay, Bob got you, got you. worked in QB Center. His name was Bob, but the name of the got, center oh, was called you, Reese Center. You, so you, we used to call you, him Bob you, Reese. You know wow. what I'm saying? But. Man, listen, I'm talking about every gangster, every like everybody went to the hood. Nas have everybody went back to the hood at one point in their career just to check on Bob. Just to the first thing I did when I came home from jail was do a ten thousand dollar toy drive for the kids in the center because Bob Reese at that time was still alive. And I just want to Bob I just wanna I was so amazed that I could do that with Bob Reese. First thing I did as as a rapper, as as a as a big rapper, I thought I gave a big toy job out of my hood with Bob, with Bob Reese. Well, that's how big he is, the QB man, for real. To to man, listen, yeah. people need to hear these stories. Yeah, right? people yeah. need to hear these stories because there's people in our communities that's doing amazing things, and somehow they get forgotten. Right? Yeah, they get forgotten. Somehow they, they get, get forgotten. forgotten. And we ain't gonna never forget Bob. You know why? Because I think every rapper from QB at one time mentioned him in a rhyme or something. Everybody. You have to. Well, we want to salute Bob Reese. R.I.P. R.I.P. Bob Reese, Thank man. You. Facts. Facts. That's dope, man. So, we want to talk about, right? What was uh -huh. like your best game? Do, do you remember the best game you ever had as a ball player? Freaking yeah, man. Shit. Uh, every game I play, nah. <laughs> I'm supposed to say that shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but um, I think I think more per se, like, as I got more accustomed with shooting, I had a crazy quick shot. <laughs> had a quick on a, on a, I'm lefty. So, you know what I'm saying? I had a quick shot. So, one game, uh, I might have scored, like, maybe 15 points. And then the next game was the game where I met Nori. And we clicked. And this is a game. We both played on CYO teams. <clears throat> Excuse me. But this game is where we linked. And he was like, yo, 
you don't play no deal on me? I said, I don't play no deal on you. I had 37, he had like 35. You know what I'm saying? And we was 15, 16 years old. So, Mike, we're not grown men. Hold yeah. on. In the beginning of the game, that was your plan? That was our plan. We just we just formally, we didn't, we've been met each other, but we formally like, yo, my man, what's up? Oh, you, you here? Because I didn't know he was at the jail. He come to the jail, boom, boom. But we on separate sides of the jail. Right, right. So my jail, my team won the, uh, the chip for my side of the jail. His team won the chip for their side of the jail. Now we got to meet. So we meet, and our first words was like, oh, shit, Pone, what are you? No, I mean, I wasn't Pone. I was Kyam at the time. Okay, he was Victor, okay. you know? No, he was Poppy. Let me get it right. He was poppy at the time. And I'm like, he's like, oh, shit. I said, Joe, you don't play no deal with me? He said, you don't play no deal with me? I said, cool. And they let us rock. Not because we were who we was, but because we were just having a good game. They was like, these things are going in. And, yo, it was crazy. And from there, it was history for that. But basketball, that was probably my best game. Because it made history. It made history. So you think game made basketball, basketball was the thing that solidified you guys that got you guys tight? Of course, it was nothing else. It was nothing else. He was, he was messing with dudes from our projects. I was messing with dudes from his projects. But when we finally clicked, it was over basketball. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. That's a New York City history story right yeah. there. Because if we was the same age, we would have been met. But I, I was two years older than him. Well, a year and a half older than him. So we couldn't meet at none of the levels of basketball because he played on the younger teams. Right, right. You feel me? So if he was my age, we'd have been met. We might have not ever been component no yet because we'd have already met. Facts. You right, you right about that. You know what I'm I saying? I'm that, yeah. Word. Like, you know, things happen for a reason, and ball played I'm so everything happy. to do. Yo, brother, I'm yeah. so happy you made the correct decision. Yeah. Trust me. It Thank made you. a lot of our lives better. <laughs> Trust me. Thank Trust you. Me. <laughs> For sure. Now, mm -hmm. Kenori ball. Of for course. Real, for, real. for real, for real. He still balls. Like, even when, you know what the crazy thing is, right? I watch I watch my bro go from a buck 50, a buck 40 to 300 pounds and ball the same way. With the same enthusiasm, with the same quickness. Because he wasn't normally a big guy. You know what right, I'm saying? So, right. He moved the same way, then lose weight and still ball. He still balls. I don't ball no more. I'm not going to say in Laddie and say, yeah, I still got it. Nah, no, 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 that's real. I don't that's front, real. but Slime, he lost it, but he still balls in his leash. He still balls. You know what I'm saying? My DJ Butch Rap, nice. Yeah. Butch is nice. Wow. Butch, Butch is nice. You know, we got a lot of nice guys that made something that could have went somewhere playing ball but chose music. Or chose being entrepreneurs. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. Right? It's, it's a lot of dudes from Queensbridge and Ravenswood and left right. Shit. Look at Kenny Anderson, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Chad. You know what I mean? That's 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 the guy too. You that's know? my guy. That's my, my guy. guy. I had him on the show as well. He was oh yeah, that's dope. Show. Yeah, yeah. I see I seen you had him on. Yeah, yeah. Uh and I uh had Lloyd on yesterday, man. Lloyd Daniels. We yeah, Lloyd Daniels. Up. See, that's that's the golden era of ball, be like Lloyd Daniels. Like a lot of these youngest, they don't know past Kobe. Right. Or Mike. Right. They just know Mike. They don't even right. know who played on his team. Facts. They know Scottie Pippen because his girls, his wife was dating future. That's how they know Scottie Pippen. Hey, listen, my, my really? artist is usually in here, right? I have an artist that comes uh -huh. on the show and he draws my guests. Let me see if he's on here. Hold on. Let me see some. See what he got so far. We got it. We got it. We got to get Ron on here. You got Ron on test yet? No. We 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 talk. We talk, but we definitely won't make that happen. We just didn't get the lines connected, yeah. but we definitely. I'm gonna talk. connect the lines. I'm gonna connect. Yeah. The, I'm gonna connect the lines for you, champ. So look, I appreciate that. Say, look. Like, this is Omar Cook. You see that? Oh, mm, that's me. That's you know me. Uh, this is my guy. This is my guy, Mo Less. Wow. So, you already know. And did that? My, my artist. My, my yeah. guy. He's the one that's, from Queens. 
He's yeah. from Queens. Oh, tell him to tap in. We got to tap in, man. Oh, yeah. sure. so I'm waiting for him. I'm waiting for him to come on. And yeah. Come on. Tell him tap in. I'm definitely, I'm definitely supporting. I need, I need, I need, I need to join that size. Whoa. Oh, no, nah, no. Nah. He gonna hook you up. He definitely gonna mm -hmm. hook you up. For sure. Now. Okay. Whenever, he, yo, Mel, I know you've seen this. When you get this, hit me up so you can come on. So, um, <clears throat> yesterday I had, we was talking with Lloyd, right? Uh -huh. and, we were talking about a game he had with J.R. Reed. Remember J.R. Reed? Do I? Do I? Yes. J.R. Reed was the top player in the country. Junior yes. Lloyd, 14. I think he just was 14 going to turn 15. When I'm telling you, boy, Lloyd wiped the floor with this dude. And, you know, J.R. Reed was all muscle. Yeah. Lloyd he was, was deep. Deep. <laughs> But he, he, had, he had all of that. Uh -huh. He could shoot both hands. And let me tell you, too. I'm gonna put it out there. I said in the interview, I ain't mad. <laughs> I was part of a trio that Lloyd gave 47 to an AAU. Mm, he gave y'all 47. Oh, me? Mm. Mark Brown, rest in peace, and my guy Juice. Mm. But he, when, when you watch the interview, he'll tell you, I'm a tough cookie to crack. I wanna play <laughs> the best. Like, I'm the dude who wanna play good. You know how most dudes who are good? But they don't yeah. want to play against the other guy that's good. Yeah. Like, I'm going to play against the guy. Like, you have to bust my ass. It is cool. But it's the only way it works. guys ever did it. Yeah. Wasn't, so, wasn't did Lloyd play against Kenny? Did, no. Did they, I, they, was they it, probably did it AAU. AAU. Kenny, right? Kenny's younger. We beat Kenny, Kenny in the right. state championship up in Glen Falls. I played in right. Lincoln. All right. Bet. Bet. Yes. So all those guys are my guys. All the guys that came up. Even you know, watching the older guys and then playing against the gold, the guys from the golden era, which you yeah. call the golden era. I didn't, I, I didn't get that far. That. That's the golden era ball. I didn't, I didn't appreciate get that far that. to play. Like, I know a lot of players. Like, like seeing them come up. Like, I literally seen like, like Elton Brand come up and and, and Lamar like come up. You know what I'm saying? And, and Reggie Jesse come up and 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 and, and Ron. You know what I mean? Like that was. Cause they was all on the same AU teams and all Back. that. So, you Back. know, it was dope. It was dope watching everybody go to the league. Like everybody go to the league. It's, it's amazing. Another reason why I'm glad I got you on here, right? Mm -hmm. Because uh, I've been doing this a year and a half now. Because a lot of my guys uh, from New York City basketball been passing away. Dave Bet was my guy, Mo Kirby. <laughs> You know Dave fucking Edwards, be like Jonathan Duck, like a lot of my guys, man, mm -hmm. they're passing away, man, and we were all tight, and they, these guys never really got to tell their story, right? Mm -hmm. So, I'm a big fan of Drink Champs. Listen, I put mm -hmm. my whole hood and everybody on Drink Champs when they first started. Yeah, but it was it was the Lamar Odom interview that inspired me to start Basketball Head, because just like you guys got a platform. For you, mm -hmm. the hip hop luminaries, I I think that I thought that New York City needs a platform for its ball players. That's right? right. To be on it, right, and, and so they could tell their story the same way you guys do, man. Cause look, mm -hmm. you're a legendary MC, but yet you know about legendary ball players came up and played with them. Mm -hmm. It all intertwines. It's crazy. It's crazy, and and that's why I look at when you look at like Cam and Mason. And, and dudes like that who they and Dave East, the niggas could have went places in ball. You know what I mean? They could have went places in ball. So, you know, that's why you look how small the world is, and you and, and people see like how Kevin Durant may mess with certain people. You gotta remember these people, they same age. They came up in ball together. They might be Big up to Bob Reese for making it happen for everybody out in Queensbridge. That's right. Shout out to my man Bob Reese. Right. So, uh, when, when did the, the music start to, you know, take over? Uh, probably when I met Nori, probably about two years after that. So, I say about 94. 94. Okay. You know, I came home from jail because I never, never rapped in jail. Me and Norby, we, 
I got him pulled to my house, and jail wasn't um rapping wasn't our shit. We was on some how the hell we gonna get some money when we get out of this joint. You know what I'm saying? We young, we don't know our direction, and we had no plans of being brothers. We had plans of being homies. You know me, I mean? well, that's my homie. You know, at that time he's like he's from one project. I was from another project, so the plan was, you know, when we link, we link. That's what it is. He, I wound up, he went to his first parole board when I was going to my second parole board. So on my second parole board, they wound up giving me a date, and they wound up hitting him. So when I went home, I went home before him. So at, in that instance, uh, you know, I'm doing what I'm doing, you know, surviving, and I link with trash. Trash called me to the studio. It was him, J.O. Felony, and my man Wonderful, and Jam Master J. And we all in the studio, Jam Master J running through the beats. We freestyling. And uh, Trash said, Joe, I didn't know you could ride like that. It's, it's, it's more to it than that. But the basics of it is, is that's when I took hip hop as far as where I could get on. Serious. And just so happened in that moment, Nori comes home. So in that moment, Nori comes home. I'm on a solo path. I got a record that I'm about to release. And through Faith Newman in Columbia, they, she, she was the one riding out for me. And she got me a record with Butt Naked Tim Dog. Not the fuck Comp to do, but the dude who produced everything for Joe to see and, and, and uh, 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 Lost Boys and things of that nature. But I was going to come out with a record and Somehow my, uh, the record gets, you know, caught up in this crazy way. But uh, it was a blessing in disguise because Faith Newman, you know, at the time was running around with me and Big L. And, well, we was running around with her. Let me get it. Let me let me rephrase that. We was running around with her. You know what I'm saying? She was definitely plugged. But she signed Nas, right? She signed Nas. She signed Fuji's, all that. You know what I'm saying? She, she did work. She put in her work. And... And you know, I love her to this day. She, 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 you know, she's solid, solid, solid. But uh, I had a session booked, and I'm in a session, and you know, boo -boo, and Nori pops up. You know, I told him I'm at the session. You know, so I do a, I do a record, and then he like, yo, I can rap too. Boom, we start chopping. I'm like, oh shit, my nigga, come on, let's do a record. You know, that's my brother. You know, what I'm saying that's like, like I had maybe three people that I came home. And I really embraced him as my brother, brother. I'm the only child, you know what I'm saying? That's Nori and Shy. You know what I mean? That's my man Shadnet. You know what I'm saying? Like that's my that was my two closest comrades coming home. I knew a bunch of niggas. Right, right. But who my mama knew, who my mama cooked for, and would wash their clothes was them two dudes right there. So, with that being said, me and Nori record our first song that night called Panama Canal. And I was like, holy shit. We sounded totally different, but it sounded so amazing. And the wildest shit about it, that was our first song I recorded, and Jada Kiss posted that shit maybe last year, like, this was my favorite song. And I'm like, my dude, how do you, I don't even have the song. Did you have yeah, our first right? song, bro. Yes. Jada posted that shit. And I'm like, I don't even have it. Where did you get that shit from? He was like, yo, don't worry about it. Like, you, know, you know, that's just rap love. That's rap, hip hop love. But the thing is, that was our first record. And from there, Travis was like, yo, you know what? It might be easier and it might be better to get a deal with y'all together. You know me, I ain't no hate. I ain't, I'm like, let's go. That's my, I could do it with my bro. Like, what? Let's go. And that's when history was made, man. We, we went up, we embarked on a whole journey from there. Damn. So when you was in the studio with Jam Master J and him at that time, mm -hmm. right? When that moment, was it that moment when you said your verse or the verses that you were saying and the reaction you were getting from people, how did that make you feel at that moment? Um, It made me feel good, but I also was like, I got to get back and get some paper. Cause I wasn't take. I came from a journey though. Like like I said, it was more to that story. But I, I took a trip. I took a four hour trip to come to that studio session. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't in New York City. 
So I took a four-hour trip Fresh. to come to that session just because Traz told me to come in the session. So when we spit in, and then my jail felony is not even from New York. Facts. So, but he spit you know, like he's from New York. But he spit like he's from New York. So for him, me, Traj, uh, Jam Master J all of being one session together, I, I was like, oh, and then they, woo, they hit me with, yo, oh yeah, say that shit again. I'm like, what? All right, cool, I'm going to keep going then. Right. And that's what made Traj, <clears throat> excuse me, that's what made Traj like me. That's what made him love me, actually, to, in music. Because right. I didn't have, I didn't, I wasn't seasoned to care about what a nigga thought. Certain niggas are seasoned to where it's like I'm rapping to get a, a nigga reaction. I'm rapping. I I wasn't doing that for that. Right. I was just rapping because I knew how to rap. I said, this is what I got. And they was like, whoa. I'm like, well, let me keep going. And then it became like, oh, well, y'all niggas like my shit. Huh? I'm about to, let me spit this joint. You know what I mean? Because that's what you rap for, reaction. That's right. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And you got that early. I got that early. You know what I'm saying? For uh, my peers. DeVito, uh, Crack Chirac said, Yo, Capone, you're my idol. Love Queensbridge. Salute, family. Salute. For sure. So I'm now, from Queensbridge, JK, Rub 745, 75. You know what I mean? But if you're from Left Rack, I love you, baby. He said Left Rack in the house. That. When you type shit, it could go two ways. He could think oh, of okay, from okay, or from okay. Got you. Got you. Word, but it's all up. Peace. No I'm, I'm with Trash right now, Paul. Oh, Fatal. Fatal, tell Trash to tap in on the um on the uh the lab. He can tap in. We'll bring him in. Yeah, tell tell no Trash to tap in. No doubt. Yeah, we'll see well, when Trash tap in. If if Fatal with sure, him right for now. Sure. And, and 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 listen. When Trash found you, you was supposed to be a solo artist. Champ, I see you. Hold up. There go my guy, though. My man. Who that? That dog. Champ, baby. You know what I'm saying? Like, no doubt. animal. Yes, That's exactly. animal, baby. He was nice and ball, too. We go to the little guys in the hood. He's older, but, you know, they, they kept the torch going in QB. You know what I'm saying? The block tournaments. That's why when I was saying earlier, right. how the dime had the the tournaments, but then it eventually moved to 12th Street, you know what I'm saying? Because we became gotcha. the popping block. And every all the tournaments, I see my man Champ, my um, uh, Animal tapped in. Let me see. Yo, Animal. He said, yo, he DMA said request. Look, 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 look. Look, Joe Fatal said request him to join. You know how to do that? Let me see. Joe Fatal. And Trash gonna pop in with him. Uh -huh. Joe Fatal. Mm -hmm. Is that one word? I think so. I think so. Let's see. Let's see if this is him. Come on, man. Look, look, look. You yo. tapped in, baby. Nah, nah. What's yo, up? what up, baby? What yo, up, listen. Man? He going to look. He going to walk right back to you in a minute. Hey, yo, Paul, look. Say happy birthday. Say happy, happy, happy birthday. Let's know. I'm bugging. Say happy birthday to him. Say happy birthday to your niece, man. Happy birthday, Lil. Oh, happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. Yeah. I, I yo, love you. I'm, yo, walking up, I'm, I'm walking him to the car two minutes in the front, coming right back, and, and I'm going to patch on. I bet. Hold on. Hold for me. Come All on. Right. What up, y'all? What up? 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 baby? Yo, yeah, yo. man. You know? Nah, yeah. I tapped in real quick. I heard Trash's name. I'm like, yo, who's talking? I'm like, oh, that's Paul. Hold on. Let yeah. Me yeah. Me yeah. We talked. We talk about when me and Trash first met, but this is basketball. So if you don't know no basketball, don't come in here. Yeah. Oh, we want to expose you. Nah, nah, nah. I don't, I don't feel like getting exposed. So you know what? I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all the request. Trash don't even know no bullshit. But nah, it's he don't. Trash, have my so, Trash don't know no bullshit. It's, it's, do, it's dope to have y'all on. Oh, no, he just wanted to say. We just wanted to say peace. You me. can hold it down for both of them. You know enough ball for the ball. Yeah, man. I'm locked and loaded. I got hey, it. Hey, yo, hey, yo, Pone, after, the, after this interview, man, hit, hit us up, man. Hit me up, because I got to told you about something. All right? Well, all hey. right, man, I know what you do. Yo, right, yeah. All yes, right, Zach, hit me when you log back on. Yes, sir. All right. Yeah. So what, what was it like uh, recording the classic album War Report, right? Which I guarantee yes. you somebody in the world is playing right now. Oh, right now, yeah. Somebody planned it. Somewhere, somebody planned it. You know, that 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 time was stressful as fuck. 
I'm not gonna sit here and be like, yeah, it was dope, and it was, it was. Right, but right. It was overwhelming things that life brought my way at that time. You know, I lost my mother, got shot, uh, caught a case. You know, was going to jail. Like in the midst of recording the album, that can't be fun. Right. Knowing right. that your whole existence right now is getting this album done, then going right to jail. You know what I mean? I'm right. going to court. The judge like, oh, I'll give you two more months. I'll give you another month. You know, whoop -de -whoop. you know, judge was cool. It was hell. So I'm sitting there like, this is cool, but it's going to come to an end sooner or later. Well, he like, nah, yeah, it's got to go in now. You know what I'm saying? But recording that album was a gift and a curse, like I said. You know what I'm saying? But it was fun because I got to embark on something that I haven't done before. And I didn't give a fuck whether I got rich or not because I wasn't going to be home to see the shit. You know what I'm saying? So my whole thing was get it done, get as much done as possible before I got to turn myself in. But then you got to also realize that I'm also trying to live life too. So I might miss this session. I might miss, you know, I'm, I got a couple of dollars. I'm, I'm running around, you know what I mean? But overall, it was the experience. But I'm not going to say I didn't have fun. And I'm not going to say it wasn't stressful because it was a whole lot going on in that year and a half that I got a record deal to record an album and, you know, going to you jail. Know, me being a hip hop head uh, myself, uh, I, I didn't let out of the bag uh, when, I, when I came out uh, of school. We will make a short story. Uh, I used to roll with Easy Mo B, right? Wow. Uh, during the height of Flavor in Your Ear. Uh, yeah. That was fundamental all of my close friends. And, you know, Easy Mo B, when he was putting out all those hits, Lost Boys, yeah. right, I was right there, right? So when you guys were making that album, I noticed, just being a hip-hop head myself, you guys wasn't making that album like, okay, we're going to make a radio jam, we're going to make a street jam, we're going to make a club banger, we're going to make... Y'all was just yeah, making nah. records, and, and y'all yeah. handed us a classic. Thank you, man, because it was just like, honestly, we didn't know how to make a radio banger. Nobody at, at that point, me and Nori wasn't seasoned. We went in and made the role report how we felt like we should sound, how we felt like we should move, how we felt like we wanted the world to depict us. It wasn't like, yo, this shit is for the radio, because we came up under that that different type of shit. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like everybody had hit records on the radio and motherfucking nah, you know what I'm saying? Right. You was platinum in the street before you was platinum on anywhere. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we wanted to make sure. We was platinum in the street. Fuck the radio. Like we ain't care. We ain't probably even have a radio budget. You know what I'm saying? All we could all we cared about was when the hood hear it, they gotta love it. That was it. They gotta love it. And one thing about people who, who reach for the radio too fast, being a new artist, if the radio don't play you. The streets now, like they, yeah. it's like going backwards. Like you, yeah. now you can't get the radio no more, so you gonna start putting out street records. Nah, fam, the streets gotta embrace you first, and then streets. the radio pick you up. They just yeah. pick you up. Yeah, that's a, and that's the chain of command right there. You gotta like people be like, yo, what, what? Like when you're an artist and you're in a certain demographic and you're in a certain area, your job is to go to the street. Anything involving street, strip clubs, drag race shows, and play your motherfucking music. That's facts. You know what I'm saying? In New York, we had basketball games. We didn't have, strip clubs wasn't always the shit in New York. No, no doubt, no doubt. You know what I mean? But you go, to, you, go, you go to Dykeman, you go to Kingdom, <clears throat> you go to Ruckus, and your song get played, you lady. Facts. Come on. Facts. Lady, you know what I mean? Whoa. Now listen, one of my favorite songs, right? Uh-huh. Is the 303 song with Tragedy Gaddafi in the locks. Huh. Huh. Yo, hold on. Hold on, fam. I'm going to tell you something right now. <laughs> that joint right there, we're going to make some noise for that. Oh, yeah, make 303. some noise. 303 is hard. We, that was a dope concept. When I saw the title, mm -hmm. you know, I'm thinking, boom. I'm like, yo, play. That right there. Yeah. Find out what that's about. Yeah, nah, that was that was that was a dope record to make, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my last brothers. I'm looking forward to their verses, man. 
That's gonna be crazy. Oh, we gonna get, well, I, I want to get into that as well. But yeah, I'm yeah, sure yeah. I might be jumping the gun. And the title, and the title. How did all that come about? Um, I mean, we were sitting there, and you know, you know, we was like, yo, would it be a dope bracket? You know what I'm saying? Like, just some, um, like on some different shit. And Tony's was like, yo, we gonna make a record called Three Hundred Three. What? Me and Trash look at each other. What? But then when. He explained it, you know, drunkly explained who, who it. Who came up with it? Who came up with Nori. it? Nori. Oh, okay. He drunkly explained it, though, but it all, got all playing, tweaked right? by yeah. me and Trash. All yeah, yeah, yeah. He got, yeah, he got it. You know, that definitely wasn't Trash. He doesn't, he has no <laughs> idea what a three versus three is. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it definitely was, wasn't was Trash. But, you know, that was a dope concept. You know, sometimes you got to roll with your brother. You got that one, champ. You know what I'm saying? Right. So. You know, that's how that came about. And me and Trash tweaked it a little bit. Trash, you know, I did this, and then it became a dope record. And the last, you know, I ain't going to lie. That should have been a video, but that, that whole yeah. situation got a little crazy. But it should have been a video. Facts, facts, facts. Listen, during the height of the East Coast, West Coast beef, you guys put out L.A., L.A., right? Which was a monster smash and also gave us guys my, like myself who love hardcore hip hop, even though y'all doing that before that, but y'all just, y'all revived the city with that sound, right? Mm -hmm. Now to see you come 360 and hook up with Daz, mm -hmm. it's such a power move. And I think it's just so dope. It makes you guys so legendary, man. Yeah. How did that come about? Uh, shit, me and Daz been knowing each other, man. It was like, people think I like, we had to go somewhere and box and, sh and, <laughs> and shoot at each other, something to get cool. Nah, we, me, Dash, Corrupt, always solid. You know what I'm saying? So I seen Dash maybe in 2005, 2006 at this concert. We chopped it up. Then I see him again to about 10 years later. And uh, we was doing Jack Thriller's birthday party in Vegas, me, Nori, uh, Dog Pound, Tony Ayo, Drew Hill. We was all in Vegas. And Daz came up to me straight up. Yo, cuz, what's up, family? Bo woop de -woo. And we chopped it up. And next thing you know, we was inseparable. We was inseparable. So he like, y'all fucks with you, baby. Like, so next thing you know, I get to New York. And he like, send me a record. And I sent him a record. And the first record we did was Star Tender. And uh, that's out now. First record we did was Star Tender. And it was like, Boom, cool, dope. Yo, that shit crazy. But then the streets start calling. Like, what? They start going crazy. So now, then after that, it was like, let's do another record. Hit them. We hit them with uh, LA, LA, New York, New York. Back, then, back, back. Then we, we said, all right, you know what? He said, yo, I got the plug at Empire. We going over there. I said, let's go. And then we just wound up doing a whole album. We got four videos. The album and the documentary all dropping and time's ticking, baby. It's about yeah, to be a movie. That's, we just that's had the billboard in Times Square. We're about to get two more billboards in Times Square. Uh, we're about to get billboards in L.A. and Atlanta. Uh, it's going to be lit. It's going to be lit. You know what I'm saying? So, that's dope. Salute shout that, out to my little dad. Shout right out to Empire. Yeah. For sure. Make some noise for that right there. Hold up. And we got the single out right now. Guidelines featuring Nori and Corrupt. So, you know, because everybody like, it's, it's not, it's, it's Nori on the album, it's Corrupt on the album. The single out right now, just in case you was in, in Pluto somewhere or you was on uh, Jeff Bezos' yacht in Africa somewhere. I don't know where he was. He just wasn't paying attention. CND, which is Capone and Dillinger, have right. a record with Nori and Corrupt out right now called Guidelines. The video's out, directed by Shula the Dog. So make sure you know y'all y'all go check that. Dope, dope. So I'm watching Styles. Oh, me yo, he said, yo, hold up, one question. Uh, this is real. Can you ask him about the head security guard at LIC High School? How did he do that? What did he do? No, because the head security guard, that was my man. That nigga got me away. Woo! I could have I could have went down earlier than I went down. I thank him, man. And, uh, yo, a lot tell of stories. Me, me. Yes, yeah, this what, what but but who's that? F F F eight two seven seven. Yes. 
Can you ask? But what did he do? Like, I want to know. The Kenny God and Lick. How did he do that? Huh? Can you ask him about that? I explain. That? I'm confused. There's no more to it. They don't have no more to it. Yeah, I'm confused. But the head security guard was my man, Williams. So now, I was, saying, I was entertained by Styles P and Jim Jones all week. Mm -hmm. Right? Even watching some of Queen Split run on, run up mm -hmm. on uh, Joel Santana. For the Joel, so right? Take his bag, right? <laughs> Dump the shit right, out. right. Uh, ah. See y'all. Ah. Queen Split, funny guy, y'all. Yeah, nah, that, that's my guy. He's, he's, he definitely could get under your skin. Yeah, no, okay. They doing these groups. CNN. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Go we're going on, on the fishing rail. Yeah. Nah, we're gonna, we might do uh, Dads and Corrupt. It makes sense. Oh, that that's perfect. It makes sense. That, it makes a lot of sense. Makes it sense. Makes so MOP, sense. somebody. And it's going to be a sense. celebration. Because you guys yeah. love for each other. Yeah, definitely. It's going to be a celebration. You know what I'm saying? It is like all these are celebration. One yes. thing I like about it, right? That everybody take things so seriously. You can, right, put, right. you can promote a movie however you want to promote a movie. They motherfuckers can act like they be even do whatever they want to do to promote a movie. But as soon as it comes to hip hop, everything got to be so real. Nah. Uh, they, these guys have nah. fun. Jim Let them have fun. LP. I have been fun and enjoying yes. the moment. I'm loving it. Yes, let them have I'm fun. Let them enjoy life. Let them That's promote right. what they're doing. If they want to go and fake wrestle, let them fake wrestle and have fun and, and, and throw a bunch of money in the crowd. Do whatever they want to do to right. promote what they're doing. But guarantee you, New York is all love right now in New York. Facts, facts. Straight up. No, nah, no, nah, that's real right there. That's real. So you have a... Uh... <laughs> Your own clothing line. I yes, got yes. In the back, that's the logo on the back. That's the logo in the background. You see my chair say Capone, too. I don't think they can see it, but, you know, well, I'm out That's it. That's I'm, 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 I'm on my chair. Now, yeah, that's that's the logo. That's that's part of the logo in the back. That's But that's the name of the brand. You know, I'm going to make sure I get something to you, champ. I'm going to make sure I'm going to make sure you silent. So next Thank time you get on the air, you can be classy down. I'm going to make sure you get some different colors in your life. Got you. And with yeah. your fans change, I see you one of these basketball head hoodies. Come on, I'm in. The official for New York City basketball. Oh. You know, Yo, you know what's crazy? You know what That's St. Rita's colors. See? I, That's St. Rita's colors. I, I got a burgundy one for you. That's St. Rita's colors, man. Word. Look at that. Look Word. At that. That's dope. That's dope. I'm, no you know doubt. what I'm doing? That just gave me an idea. I'm about to get me a St. Rita's jersey made, man. There I'm about you to go. Get there you go. Line. And look, if you want to come back on and win, we'll we'll love it. Yo, Who come on, Trash. You got your feet in the jump off, man. Who nah, showing I think feet? that's Jamel. I think it's my, my artist, Jamel Powell. Oh, okay. He's showing the art now. He's showing the yeah. feet. Like, come on. You got your feet on live. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Nah, dope. Dope. He just did that? Yes. Holy shit. That's why he wasn't on. He just drew a live picture of me right now. No, because usually, Word. usually he come here, lock. I got lock with me too. Come on, lock. I got lock with me too. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. Yeah, lock right here. You know what I'm saying? I know we was gonna get to that, but I just want to make sure the world see my brother. We always together. You know what I mean? Facts, yeah, facts. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. You see, that's crazy. Yeah. Yo, that's <laughs> crazy. With that trick. Yeah, that's my hey, guy. Hey, Bell hey, look, Bell. right? He from Queens. He went to hey, Andrew listen. Jackson High School. He a basketball player, he Andrew Jackson. football player, and coach. Oh. <laughs> Look, tell him, tell him, tell him he got my next um single cover. Let's. I'm gonna send him. I'm gonna send him whatever. Yeah. Tell him I'm gonna have him lace my single That's cover. It's me, it's me and Young Chris from um Young Gunners. I'm a, it's what? me and Young Chris. Yeah, I'm gonna have him. I'm gonna send him my thoughts, and then he can just take it and do what he's doing. Then we go. No me. doubt. No doubt. Well, man. I, 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 I respect the game. And when I get that, I'm gonna send it out to you to give me, give me information. Okay, I'm gonna send it out to you. I right, bet. Yeah, yeah, that's super love. I appreciate you. What's your artist name? Jamel Powell. Yeah. Jamel Powell. He goes Jamel Powell. Phil Jackson, number, Phil Jackson 4 on IG. Phil Jamel Jackson Powell. 4 on IG. Make sure y'all follow Jamel Powell, Phil Jackson 4 on IG. The artwork is amazing. <laughs> Everybody don't hit him at one time. Thank you, bro. I gotta do my cover next. Let's go. Sure. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Yo, love, <laughs> love.
I appreciate, right, I appreciate the love, man. That was dope, man. That was dope. I appreciate Thank you, you family. Whoa, Thank bro. you, brother. We got the builders uh, in the background. Oh, real quick. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you, brother. All love, family. I'm, I'm gonna get you your, uh, the the info to you. I need for the for the oh, same. For sure. Jump for off. sure. Well, we are gonna lay. So listen, how me and my guy Jamel met? He worked at my school, right? Mm -hmm. I've been an educator for over 20 years, as well, and a high school basketball coach, right? Oh, dope. So knowing what you just put out, uh, with lack that educational mm -hmm. hip hop professor. Yo, let me tell you something, fam. I want to give you all the props in the world because a lot of people complain about the music that's out now and the yeah. messages that are in the music. I just yeah. want to say something real quick, right? You said, I was raised across the river from the school of five percenters. The knowledge that's within us is God given we winners. We young inventors. The first black dentist was Robert Freeman. I dropped out of high school, never made it to Lehman. Instead, I saw a jail cell reading, learning the meaning of black power, Bible paper to rap sour. My bloodline is designed from greatness. Architects, still we screw face each other like we in mock for death. Come on, baby. Come on. Don't let it go over your head. You Yo, know, let, me, like, let me tell you. No, not you. Not you. you. I'm so tapped in. I know you on point. Listen, you know? man, let me tell you something. I'm so tapped in because I've been listening to you from the beginning. Yeah. Right? And then as I'm conversating with you and hearing your story, right? And mm -hmm. hearing your life story, the, the things you overcame mm -hmm. and how it came back full circle and what Bob Reese meant to you in the hood and what, yeah. how the people always came back to give back. Give Knowing back. what's going on in our communities, we need this. So I'm yeah. going to pro promote that crazy on my page. Thank no, you. For Thank real. you. Because Thank that you. needs to get out there. Yes, you know, it's, it's, it's like, like in my life, man, you know, everybody go through phases. And, and this is a part of my phase of my life that I honestly love. You know what I'm saying? I honestly, you know, met a great brother and, and, and who, who sometimes you get people who, who can uh, uplift you. They yeah. can keep you the same or they can bring you down. You know right. what I'm saying? And, right. <clears throat> excuse me, me and my brother, it was like, you know, we, we we didn't grow up together. We we didn't we didn't uh, live the same lifestyles growing up, you know. Cause just cause we was in different parts of the planet, but overall we see the same vision. So when we connected, it was like, damn, I don't know if I could write a whole verse without saying I sold crack or did this. You know what I'm saying? But uh, you know, you're doing this or you're doing that. As far as the way people know me as but now the way people are starting to perceive me as it's like you know because i kick a jewel in every rap hair every rap yep, thing yep. you know you i kick jewel. definitely i sprinkle yep. you know what i'm saying yeah i sprinkle yep. the joint you know what i'm saying but this was a whole whole ep where it was just my brain it wasn't most mostly my experience or what I see as far as everyday living and things like that. This was more of my brain of what of the knowledge that I know that I can give to the people. That was a blessing for me that my brother brought it out. Salute my brother Lock right here. You know what I'm saying? I'm always, you know what I'm saying, give my brother's flowers because you know, ain't nobody expected that from me. You know what I'm saying? And then a lot of brothers can't do that. They no, can't take their brain there. It sounds corny. Yeah. It sounds forced. Yeah. Trust me. Yeah, it sounds I forced. hear it from dudes, and I'd be like, no, nah, that's not yeah. it. Yeah. Your and first you know, open line to that song, yeah. I was just like, <laughs> my, brother, my brother grew up five percent, right? Yeah. And I also have another brother. We the same age. Uh, mm -hmm. My father got 21 of us, all right? Woo! Nice. So, but I had the wicked jump shot and my brother sold crack rock, right? Yeah. And as we got older, we talked, and he, you know, he asked, he was like, yo, Pooh, did you feel a way, or did you feel a shame of me because I was selling drugs and you was in college getting education? I was like, nah, because I, I know our situation, and I know yeah. your situation was different from mine, right? Yeah. But also, no, 
<laughs> now, what you was able to do with your family and give them a different life and make sure they never see that. And now he's a grandfather, mm -hmm. training his grandson to be a yeah. ball player. Those are the things I'm proud of. Right? If my brother was a president of a cigarette company selling cigarettes, making millions of dollars, would I be proud of him? Mm -hmm. As you should. We we but no, I think we sometimes we get we get it twisted, right? We get we look down at somebody who's hustling in the streets and then we praise the dude who's selling the cigarettes and selling you get what I'm saying? Of course. Of course. So I, I had to tell my brother that I love my brother to this day and ain't mm -hmm. never gonna change. Right? It don't matter. So, it don't matter. It's that, no that that's something that's unconditional. A, a, a family member's love is unconditional. The, sometimes it gets tainted yes, because yes. people go throughout things throughout life, but it's still unconditional. And it should be that way. So, you know, I get a thousand percent where you're coming from. And especially me being the only child, I had to depend on a lot of my friends to be my brothers or my sisters. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, if I got 10 homies over here that I'm sandbox with and we locked and loaded, that's 10 brothers I got. Right. You think I'm going to, my 10 brothers, everybody ain't going to have the same occupation. I ain't going right. to love one of them no more than the other just because you're a janitor and just because you sell crack and just because you make music. Nah, y'all all my brothers. Right. We blink, we fall Voltron. That's we right. fall Optimus Prime. You know what I'm saying? But for now, you the head, you the the leg, you the arm, we, when we come together, hey, listen, that's one thing that us as people let slip away. Yeah. That's bonding. Bonding don't happen no more because yeah. social media took bonding out because now the nigga that just hit you 30 times a day, you might be cooler with him than your own man. Facts. 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 You know what I'm saying? Facts. You might speak to that nigga more than your own boy. So you know, it's certain shit that you you know, as a as an older brother and me, that's why I'm glad I got experience. I learned a lot of shit because every everybody you 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 come across is not your friend, is not your brother, but the ones you have hold daily, and that's what I try to do: hold everybody daily and accountable. You know what I'm saying? That's what we got to do. You know, we got to start bonding. We got to start, you know, get back to that. My brotherly shit, and not just social media shit. And Listen, bro, I, I, damn, I know man. I'm gonna do brother tonight, man, for sure. Of course, of for course, sure, for of sure. course, for of sure. Course. And now that shit is open, I know the games is gonna be popping again right now. That's right. That's right. The games is gonna be back oh, off. So we definitely gonna catch you. each other. So I, I, I went from Co-op City, yeah, right, to Tillery Park. To Gertz. Now I'm gonna put this out there. Everybody know you're gonna see me in these streets. Yeah. Like, don't drive. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm getting it in. I'm on a train. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Really getting it in. It's, mm -hmm. and I love it. It's not work for me. I yeah. love what I do. Somebody did it for me. I yeah. remember playing, people taking pictures of me. I remember, and they didn't look like us. Yeah. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? They didn't look like us. And that was okay. But I said, you know what? I'm going to take the mantle on this. Uh -huh. Somebody got to do it. Somebody got to do it. Somebody got to get it done. Cause if, That's right. Like, the, the thing about it is, I love somebody who's on a different path. I'm tired of act, act, like the same hip-hop podcast, the same shit. Niggas, you know, at this point, we got to do something different. I love sports. Obviously, the world loves sports. Facts, facts. You know what I'm saying? But guess what's more intriguing about any other sports? New York sports. Facts, facts. New York sports is the most intriguing and suspenseful sport. That's why nobody wants to play in the garden. They like, man, the garden might be haunted with the past, the, the, the New York, the ghosts. It's a pedigree, the pedigree. Not ghosts, it, but it the ghosts. It runs so deep. Yeah. It runs so deep. Go and deep. Let me tell you, I'm, I'm going to be telling everyone, yo, fam, 
Go tap him, my guy Capone. It's official. He, you already know he official in so yeah. many ways. But to be official on this side, yeah, full circle, fam. Yeah, yeah. You know? I I was I forgot I was on my phone. I was about to say I was going to hit Kenny right now and see if Kenny answered. Oh, oh, you know, I got a few guys, you know, say yeah, Jason. If you, if you call him, he gonna be like, yo, Glenn, my man, that's my dude. Now you know, you know uh, we always, stick together. He always coming on the show. So we so crazy, yeah. right? The next question I was gonna answer, you answered in the very first beginning. Uh -huh. And you talking about uh sponsored events in the community, and you said we did when you came home, the first thing you did was do something for the kids in the community. Yeah. Right? First thing you know, I did. Most guys just go and do them mm -hmm. and spend their whole time just doing them. You went back and gave back to your community. Yeah. I went back and I, 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 like, you know what? I don't care what you do in life. If you got an opportunity to help somebody else, you should take it. That's, that should be, like, I, Maybe maybe that's a fault in me, but that's my main goal. Like, I just try. I don't know if it's the only child or what, but I always try to help somebody. You know what I'm saying? And and I think you could you could shit on me once, you could shit on me twice, three times. I ain't gonna let it happen. But if you shit on me once, I might I might help you again, probably. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody deserves a second chance. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, right. I just try to, at this point, at 45 years old, I've seen everything that I could possibly see, except my love. I think I try to be the best man I could be going forward in life from just as a grown man and, and be better. Because you know what? Somebody's watching right now and said, this motherfucker ain't talking no fast shit. This motherfucker ain't talk no crazy shit. We talked positively and about something through the whole interview. That's that's a conversation that hopefully helps somebody. Help me help somebody that helps somebody. Whoa, man. I like it. I like it. I like conversation. Listen, I, like I've seen you in so many other interviews. I've never seen this Capone. Yeah, this is. This this is the this is the uh understanding. This is this is the wise <laughs> this is the wise, my my this my name my name is wise understanding right now. now <laughs> I'm going back. My name is wise understanding right now, you know what but, I'm saying? But, <laughs> nah, but you know, New York is the Mecca, man. I don't care what anybody say, anybody come from. The best of the best are still scared to play ball in New York. And 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 when they do they do come to play ball in New York. They know who to tap in with. New York is the mecca. Will always be the mecca. And I'm just fortunate to grow up in the era where it counted. It counted. Basketball actually meant something to New York. Now, you see what's going on with our team. We looking good, though. We, looking, we was looking good. We was looking yeah, good. Yeah, we yeah, was looking good. Yeah. But, you know, I think, you know, some changes need to be made. When you start disrespecting vets and kicking them out and, and, and things of that nature, I am think I'm doing too hard. When you, you're doing things of that nature, I don't think, you know, you, sh you, should be, you should be in control of the team no more. No, listen, if the team, he was inherited the team, right, yeah. from his dad. Right? Yeah. The Knicks never lose because they always sell out. All right, I tell Knicks fans that. The Knicks mm -hmm. never lose because yeah. they, they always sell out no matter what their record is. So yeah. to, to the owners, that's a win for them. Yeah. You get yeah. what I'm saying? Because so that's all they care about is the seller. I, I want to go to the I want to go to the hood, right? Mm -hmm. I, and I know a lot of dudes be saying, you know, you have a lot of NBA guys, a lot of college all Americans. Yo, tell me about the hood dude too. I want him on here. I'm gonna get my guy Hammer from Brooklyn. Mm. My guy Hammer. I'm telling you, what I'm talking about. Mano and Mano. Yeah. Like six three, six three playing big man. Like boss. Yeah. Okay. Going in. Going in. Giving it to dudes who played in the league, college, all American. All yeah. of that. So ball players come in all shapes and sizes. I don't care if your ball player game is cut short. You had to probably do some time or whatever. But I guarantee you, somebody remembers something great you did. Yeah, somebody, you know, somebody. It's always somebody that I remember. 
they remember. Well, it was that last jump shot I shot in the hood. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They like, cause I ain't go front. I I bust a lot of niggas' ass. They like, yo, I, I definitely and, got and it lefty, in. And lefty. lefty. I had a funny shot too, but it was like water. That shit was like, Whoa. like you know, one of them shots. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it wasn't Sean Marion ish. Right, right. Was like, you oh, know what I'm saying? Thank God. No, hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't Sean Marion. Was, no, didn't he have the ugliest shot? No, Bill Cartwright. Bill oh. Cartwright had the ugliest shot. Here go. Here you go. <laughs> yo, yo. You can drive from him. You can drive from Brooklyn to Queens by the time he shoot that shit. He bring that shit all the way over here. He be like, he said, Bill Cartwright. Bill That's Cartwright. Right. Superficial. Ugliest shot ever. Ugliest ever. Yeah. Well, that's crazy. Sean Marion, his shit was just like, what the fuck is he? How did he make it to the NBA shoot? But guess what? It worked. <laughs> like, that nigga jump. Sean Marion's jump shot is like, that means Sean Marion. Ugly kick, an ugly kick with a yeah. bad body. No, this yeah, is no, I, 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 that, that was like a good analogy right there. Ugly <laughs> kick with a bad you be like, yo, damn. A ugly chick with a bag body. That's <laughs> Sean Marion's jump shot. Fact, fact. Yo, yo, his shot was terrible. But, yeah, but he was, yeah. a, he, he, so was he was a great player. His shot was like that. Woo! <laughs> no, my shit was like, you know what I'm saying? My shit was like, you know, I was a lefty. He, he was, you know, I was a fall with my shit in Right. But I was, I was definitely, definitely busting your ankles down like your shit might hit the gristle after a few of these right here you know what i'm saying you, you hit him with the back boom boom right right then you hit him between the legs boom then you fake this way you throw it back between then you catch it and then go oh man listen i'm catching flashbacks on the chair who <laughs> wanna was the best chair ball ever <laughs> yeah this is real call a technical yeah. problem now when somebody break their ankle yo the best wow. chair ball ever family what but salute man I, I, you know what is one missing Conception people have about you or had about you? Uh, that I'm 6'7. <laughs> God, the you should have been in the league. Like, I told I was supposed to be, my nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? But nah, but you know, I think they, I don't know. Like, you know, everybody got their own opinions of, of me. Everybody is entitled to their own opinions of me. Everybody's entitled to their misconceptions, but I think maybe uh, I don't know. I, I, maybe I don't know. Like, uh, shit, that's a great question. Nobody ever asked me that. That was a good one. misconception. I don't know. What you think, like I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You know maybe so, I, I, one I think of the things I'm getting, you know, especially listening to the to the uh, Lack EP and mm -hmm. and some of the messages, and then combining. Uh, your past music, right? The, the smart thug fits you. Yeah. That's me and my you know brother. What I'm saying? Like, yeah. he's, he's smart, I'm sure. thug. Or, or he's thug and I'm smart. That's why I'm so dope, because he could be one nigga. And that's he right. Be, I could be that's both. Right. We both the same. You know what I'm that's saying? Right. But it's, that's why we call the smart thug, because it's not just explaining to him. It's not just explaining to me. That shit can go either way any day. You know what I'm saying? Any any day it could go either way, you know what I'm saying? And thug is not just like meaning like shoot, kill, not, not all, not, all that. Not. Thug is take care of your family, build bombs, that's shelters, right. and you know get twenty video screens. You know that's a thug. That's a, you know you ain't gotta run the street to be a thug. You could be a thug at home. You Yo, know what I'm saying? Let me give you a real story. Talk to me. I think it was like 87, 86, 87. I'm coming back from the Brevo Coliseum. It's a a court in the middle of our hood, right? And mm -hmm. And 50 Cent, not the rapper. Mm -hmm. Real 50 right? Cent. Yeah. 50, the gangster. Uh -huh. He was like, yo, Slim, come here. Mm -hmm. I was shook. Like, I had yeah. my basketball, my yeah. sunny dude, you know. Yeah. Sunny dude, walking. say that again, though. Sunny dude, old champ. The, the sunny dude, the long dude. Yeah. 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 That was 40 yeah. Cent. Man. That's the hood famous. That was before the quarter waters. That was right. What, you get the quarter order for Cordy. That was like forty cent. Back, what? Back, what? Back. Come on, let's go. I'm, I ain't mean to cut your wisdom, no, but no, it's all dude. good. It's all good. Uh -huh. So, 
50 says to me, yo, you got a future with that ball, man. Mm -hmm. Keep doing what you're doing. You see these guys down there? They suckers. Don't be like them. Those dudes shooting the dice game. I ain't mm -hmm. going to be going on. And he says, stay right here. He went and robbed the dice game and looked back and was like, yo, shorty, I told you. No, Slim. Because I was yeah. told like, yo, Slim. Told you, don't be like these suckers, man. Keep playing ball. Yeah. I never forgot that shit. Never, never forgot that. Yeah. Because it was a it was a gangster from our hood giving me love. Giving you love, giving yeah. Giving me a pass because I was walking through the – he just got finished throwing me play, I guess. Yeah. And I, I just got finished killing. But, you know, it was a regular game for me. Yeah. And you never know who's watching. And like I said, somebody's right now listening to the war report right now on your IQP somewhere yeah. in the world. The joint man live guy is called Wolves. It's called Wolves. Yes, Wolves. It's executive, yes. It's executive produced by uh, me and Lot and Merck Beats. And, you know, I just want everybody to make sure that they they they, they know where you can get it. You can get it on all platforms. All just call platforms. Wolves. Please, and, please. Uh, you can also it. get, yes. get Lot music too at Smart Hip Hop. You know what I mean? And uh, check out the music that he got before Wolves. For just sure. on his own, you know, the, the um, projects he has. Because what they're two installments, right? Yeah. Come on, you can talk too, man. Come on. You know, That's so good. To... I, I think my educators and parents need to support this. You can yeah. play this for your kids, right? Good history, good music. And you know, it's Capone. Yeah. Learn, right? yeah. You you know, we got we got things that we doing. You know, my brother's super smart. What we what you doing? Play and all that, man. Like that. Come play, on. You know what I'm saying? We got the new educational album coming out, Lions and Leopards, you know. Um it's working, man. It's working. Mm -hmm. That's all we're doing, saying. man. You know what I'm saying? Enjoying life, working and, and, and trying to uplift each other and uplift everybody we can. But don't get it twisted, me and dad shit hard as hell. But when it comes, you know what I'm saying? Let's let's get this we, we clear. Know. Listen, let's get this clear. You know what I'm saying? Really like it's all love. It's all love. Like, you know, your brain got to a vortex and a cortex. I don't even know if that's the way it is. But, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, in all in all love and everything, you know, being straight up, you know, this is my brother, man. And he, and he gives a lot to the game, man. And everybody needs to know, you know, follow our small hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Follow our small thuggy and T. Just know that it's more out here than, 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 than uh, shaking your ass and selling crack and shooting niggas and selling pussy, whatever you're doing. It's more out here than that, man. You know what I'm saying? And one thing is, I remember coming up, you had to really make clean versions for the radio. Like, you had yeah. to make clean songs for the radio. Yeah. And just to get your shit played, you had to go through loops and jump holes. Now, they they damn they just cut a little bit of the, of the curves. Like, they, you know exactly. They say, Puss! they just take the Y out. Like, you know, you're 10 years old. You know what that means. Like, come on. So, you That's know, real. it's more to music than that. And like I said, I can give you both, and I'm gonna give I'm gonna give the world both. I got different sides of me. I might give them something else, a singing record. I don't know, but at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying. This is my brother, and he's doing something great that that I, I was uh, fortunate to be a part of. I was fortunate to share the grace of greatness. You know what I'm saying? Because we're both great in our own ways, and we're both great together. And people should know at Smart Hip Hop. Make sure y'all follow. That's dope, man. Jeez, that's, that's dope. Do, do you, do you, I right, before you got with uh, Capone, was you going around teaching this uh, as a curriculum in schools and that? Yeah. I mean, I wasn't teaching it, teaching it as a curriculum, but I was going around to the different schools, to the different programs, performing the music, giving out lectures. You know what I'm saying? Um, my wife and I formed the company Smart Hip Hop, you know, giving out books. You know, that was the beginning of the company. That's where it started. That was the genesis of it. But yeah, did that for years. And then I just wanted the sound to travel out a lot farther. So, you know, we started playing with the music a little bit. Ended up with projects like Wolves with my brother here. Which, which, is, which is dope, man. Let me tell you. Uh, like I said, I'm a hardcore hip-hop guy. Like CNN, M.O.P., L.O.S. Yes. Like, like, I'm Like, I'm real... I'm, you know, uh, Griselda, like, I'm real hardcore. Right. Right? Right? But also, I'm an educator. And I also know the importance of giving kids something good to listen to and, and something that's on a good vibration. And mm -hmm. what you guys are doing 
it's a good vibration for the youth. And I think they need to hear that, especially what's going on today. Because, I'm, you know, we talk about the balance, right? You look, mm -hmm. you can't get the good without the bad. I don't care what anybody say, right? Goody two shoes, whatever. You can't have the good without the bad. You can't have evil yep. without, sure right? Is. It's the same thing. Without good. So, you know, I'm looking at both of those things. And I want to salute you guys. Salute. Back. Salute, family. Somebody we're said finished. Paul Brown 15. We got our nice. top five. Top five. Top, top five. five. Top five. Okay. Capone. Yeah. The top five ball players from Queensbridge. Ho. Top five ball players from Queensbridge. Paul. Number motherfucking one. <laughs> Top so five. good. Yep. Now, I'm, I'm, I ain't going to lie. I'm going to take me out the equation because I really have to give these brothers their flowers. I feel like if I put myself in there, I'm taking somebody out that really deserve it. So gotcha. to be truthful, to be truthful, you got Lloyd. You got 30. You got Spud. Uh... Spud, what I say, Lloyd Spud, 30, Black Ed. Uh, rest in peace to Black Ed. Rest in peace to Lloyd. Uh, and then uh, this is crazy. Who I said, Spud? <laughs> top five. I might get fucking crucified next time I go to the hood with this top five. Let me see. I think I'm gonna go Troy Battle. Ah, uh, okay. Troy, Troy Battle. Battle. Yeah, yeah. Troy Battle. Troy Battle. And I'm not gonna. I'm. I'm. I'm gonna put. And and mind you, we got NBA players. I feel like that's cheating if I put that Ron or Sean. You know what I mean? I feel like yeah, that's okay, cheating. Okay. So I didn't. I, I didn't. I did that purposely. They like, yo, you got NBA? Nah, I did that purposely. Nah, that's you know all good. These are the top don't, five don't dead or alive. The neighborhood names still ring yeah, because these these are my top five dead or alive. Like niggas got rappers top five dead or alive. These my ball players from QB top five dead or alive. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. So now I'm gonna take you out of your comfort zone and ask you the top five players in New York City history all time. I don't think I, I don't think I need some more. Hold up. <laughs> Top five players in New York history. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to go. Damn, New York history. Shit. New York history. I'm going to go with. You hit me with the joy, man. You hit me with the joy. Because I, I feel like this is really love. Let me see. Kenny Anderson. Okay. Kenny Anderson. Uh. Kenny Anderson, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say Felipe Lopez. Felipe, for I'm sure. I'm gonna say Felipe. I'm gonna say Felipe. Yeah. I'm gonna say Steph. Nice. I'm gonna say Steph. Yes, yes. Uh, I'm gonna say, uh... you can tell he a guard guy, right? You, you see the guys you pick, he be a guard guy. He, he loved the guard. That's, 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 my, that's my position. New God City. That's what we call New, New God, God City. New God That's City. It. You know what I mean? I'm going to say uh, Rod. Two more. Two more. Two more. Rod was from New York, right? Rod was from New York. Rod was from New York? Ross, who, Rod Strickland? Yeah. Yeah, oh, he he from from the he's from New York. He's from the Bronx, right? Ross, yeah. Rod. I'm going to go Rod. He, he was on the show as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now that's my brother. That's my brother. I, I, just, <laughs> I just didn't remember. I just I couldn't remember. I didn't want to... Um, from that state facts. Yep, yep. He put the um, BX with the Truman High School. And I'm going to go with this one. I ain't going to lie. This is a tie between the two man chows. Okay, okay. And one's, one's from left, um, Ravenswood, one's from left right. But they both, in the papers, they gave talk for themselves. They both probably got number one guard in the, in, 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 out of New York. They both probably got number one guard in the country. So, yeah. And if I missed anybody, I still love Who were the two? I didn't get the last two. What was the last two? Man Child. Man Child okay. 1, Man Child 2. Or both they Man Child 1s. They both. Got I, you. I, got I, you. Got I, you. I'm, got yeah, you. yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Right. You know? Right. Yeah, man. You know? It's like, uh, these were the guys that came up ahead of me in St. Rita's days and things of that nature that 
Uh, matter of fact, Manchild was the one that commented on the joint. His name, his, his IG is Number Route. Number Route? Yeah. Man, Number child, route. you need to holler at me. Come on the show. Yeah. Tell the story. Yeah, he, he's he's like our, he's our Michael Jordan. You know what I'm saying? To us, to our gen, to my generation. That, Say, hold on, know, hold on, Paul, Paul. He's, he's, he's young. He's younger than me, but he's He was he's young, our, Michael Jordan? He's... He's our, he was our golden child. That's why they call him man child because when Yo, he was a kid, he was beast of men. Right here, man. And then there's another man child from Ravenswood, same way. You know, his his brother, man child from Ravenswood, brother, actually Butch, rest in peace, Butch was my coach for wow. St. Rita's. You know, I went to, like I said, I played for St. Rita's from novice all the way up to intermediate. So Butch was my coach. Butch was, um, Butch was a, a man child's brother. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, dope. You know what I mean? They was they they that was part of my life. And then I watched man child wow. grow. So amazing. So amazing. Y'all look, 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 look. Man child's the realest. I'm telling you, they're gonna talk about him. They're gonna talk about him. Yo, you know I mean? DM me, your man child. Make sure you follow me. And yeah, we going to show you both, both childs, both childs, man. Mom. Yeah, man, both my brothers, man. You All already right. know. Last top five. Last top five. Talk to me. Top five hip hop songs all time. Shit. Uh, top five hip hop songs of all time. Uh, if I rule the world, Nas. Nice. Uh. Luke Nas. Uh, if I rule the world, Nas. Uh, I think Shook One's Mob D. Oh, yeah. I think. Uh, up, Yo, let me show you something. The classic <laughs> story behind that song. Yeah. When Havoc said we was in the crib and the 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 knob to the yeah. silver to the keys. Yeah. The record That's how the record. Damn, nigga took that and made a whole intro out there. Yeah, huh? Salute, uh, Havoc, and Mall Deep, and Rest in yeah. Peace, Prodigy. Rest in Peace, P, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's probably uh, number two. That's number two. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to say Juvenile 400 Degrees. Okay, uh, facts, facts. Yeah, that's, that's one of my favorite songs ever. Uh, classic, classic, Juvenile. I'll say DMX, Damien, D and uh, and uh, and um, I will honestly go with Slick Red Children's Story. Yo, let me tell you, fam. I want to get to the Damien thing in a few minutes, and then I'm gonna uh -huh. let you go. Uh huh. But I was talking to uh, one of my guys the other day, and we was talking about guys who was really gangster, mm -hmm. but never rapped about it. Mm -hmm. Like Rick was really about that life. Like Rick was about that life. Wow. But make a song called Children's Story, right? Yeah. And it's so crazy because in the story, he talks about the guy running for the police <laughs> and crash. Yeah. And it happened to him. And it happened to him. And, and people were in the, and the, and the records that he, they made back then, you know, when you talk about Slick Rick, man, mm -hmm. his verses and flows are so smooth. He gave it up so well. And you just never knew he had popped your head off. <laughs> yep, until he showed it, until he, until he had to pop somebody's head off. And he didn't tell for it. Back. You know what I mean? He pops right. somebody head off. See, you never know. You never know that pressure bust pipes till that pipes bust. And they like, right. damn, nigga, all that nigga. Come on, you know what I'm saying? But you know, slick real one. You know what I mean? Slick, slick definitely got me through. You know what I mean? And yeah, I I, I, I can only you know say I admire everything about slick. The way he dressed, the way he talked, the way he walked. And people really never got at the time that he was from England. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Oh, like, word. You know what I'm saying? And they don't understand how real England was. And he was basically trying to tell us in an American way how real England was. 
You know what I'm saying? He was basically like, yeah, I'm a hood nigga. I live in here, but I'm from England. I ain't get gangsta over here. I got gangsta here. And it's, you know what I mean? Like, it's real. 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 And, and I want to get into the last thing, the Damien song. Mm -hmm. My DMX. Rest in peace, DMX. Rest in peace, X. <clears throat> what was it about that song that stood out? Now, I always connected it with the movie Damien. Yeah. Correct? Yeah. But my, my whole thing was, everybody go through it. That's something everybody goes to. In some form or fashion, they have a Damien on their shoulders. Right. At some point in their life, at some point in their day, at some point in their night, at some point, you got Damien on your shoulder. You got to make that choice. You know what I'm saying? And that motherfucker right. ain't going nowhere. You, 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 you knock him off now, but he'll be back in a week. He'll be back in a month, a year, but he's still going to be on your shoulder. And for me, that was his addiction, talking to him. And that's why I love that song so much, because people did never take it that way until he was gone and started looking at that. He was talking then. He was talking then. He was talking then. He was asking for help then. Or he was saying he got help then. You know what I'm saying? And I love X. X is my favorite artist of all time. Favorite, wow. favorite. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Definitely. Salute DMX, man. Salute Salute DMX. Rest of Paradise King. Definitely. Yeah. And all of our great artists that we lost. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. All right. We're going to get you out of here. Somebody said, ask him, do you remember Little Feet? Nice. 15 teens of Paul Brown. Oh, yeah, of course. Of course. Little Pete Nice, of course. 15 of Paul Brown. Little door on the side. You go down 40th. You know, you go down, what's that, 13th Street? Or, or 9th Street, you know, you go down 9th Street, woo! That was the days. That was like the, woo! Because, let me tell you where a nigga's smart. Okay. Motherfuckers are selling 10s and, and 20s, dubs and dabs. He's selling 15s <laughs> and killing them. And kill, he changed the game. You don't got to have $20? Right, you right. 15? Wow. Oh, he, he killed them. I've never heard that. Ever. Niggas are selling dimes and 20. Right. You go to Paul Brown and get two for 30? What? He killed him. He killed him. He killed him. He killed him. Salute Paul Brown, the best ever that did it in my heart, man. You know, wow. everybody grown now, entrepreneurs and having fun, man. But at that point, I'm talking about the 80s. 15s? 15. <laughs> That's like seven, seven, selling seven dollars. You ain't selling dimes. Right. You sell this shit seven dollars. <laughs> Yo, crazy. You can get that I back then that three dollars you got that your hero and juice. Necessary. <laughs> you could have got a hero and a juice for three that three dollars. <laughs> you got a seven dollar bag, a hero and a juice. You lit. You get hot. Right. What <laughs> salute, baby. Nice talking to you. I'm gonna make that no. horn plug work. You smell me? No doubt. No doubt. Yeah, I'm gonna doubt, make man. that I'm gonna make that I'm gonna plug that for you. You know what I'm Listen, saying? Yo, I appreciate you, man. Let me tell you, man. Again. I'm glad you was my first MC that I have on here. Yeah. Uh, I, I didn't really get too much into my music thing, but it, it, you, you missed the intro. Yeah. Right? I have a song that I've I done a long time ago that I never thought I would use it for anything. Yeah. And it's the intro. It's a basketball song. Dope. And it's the intro for uh, of my show, man. So for you to be on here, it means a lot, man. I appreciate you. I'm going to definitely check it out. Though. I know I can get to it. You know what I'm saying? No doubt. You already no doubt, know, no family. Doubt. I appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? Let's give it up for New York Bowl out there. Oh, for the sure. We're going to make some noise right now for New York City yeah. basketball. That's right. That's All right. the ball players in America. That's right. Brooklyn, Queens, Manhattan, the Bronx, yeah. Staten Island, Long Island, even up top of state. Even up top. That's right. We celebrate it all, man. That's right, it's baby. New York Salute. City. We Salute have. On. Hold on. I got to give a shout out to my man, Asiana. Before we leave, this was the best 15, 16-year-old I saw in my life. He had scouts coming to the jail. They started taking him from our jail like this. You could come out today. He had 10 years. You could come out today. Come on, we're going to this college. We're going to play. We're going to go to this college and play. Yeah, he was that nice. Asiatic. That Man, listen. Where's he at now? Where's he at now? I have no idea. If anybody knows, tell Asiatic to get at me or get at Nori. 
because he knows both of us. Wow. Straight up. Because we've been Asian looking for him. One of the Salute nicest Asian, one the best. Because he deserves a story. He deserves a, a story. Straight hey, listen, up. I never saw him play. Capone said he was the nicest. I'm nah. agreeing with him. Because Anybody, my man OG Pants. He's a fish basketball head. Yeah. I, yeah. yeah, I gotta shout out OG Pants too. These are all people that, that play intricate parts of my life. OG Pants, Kurt James, Coach Kurt James used to play with magic. He the one who got me and Nori together. He the one who helped us win the chip. But you know, we had fun, man. You know what I'm saying? We'll we'll link up again. I'll probably Thank jump you. on Ron. I'm gonna link you with Ron. I'll jump up on his joint. We keep it going. You already know. Appreciate you, my brother. Thank Super you. Super love, family. All right, one. All right, yes. much success to you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, listen, when you can have hip hop royalty come and holler at you and talk to you, you know, I, I told y'all about my time with my god, Big Daddy Kane, at his house, Jay Z coming over, and we going into the Stretch Armstrong show and freestyling. And then I'm watching the teacher or the student, you know, take the mantle for the teacher. It is amazing when you live those hip hop moments. And now tonight, another hip hop moment for me. Capone comes on the show. And it's a different Capone that I've never seen before. And it's always been him. But this is why I said we got to stop judging people. You want to know something about somebody? Go kick it with them. Go holler at them. And the great thing about New York City basketball is when we got this in common, all the other doors open. So I want to salute to my brother. Because, yes, tonight just made a new brother. Capone, legendary hip-hop MC from the legendary group Capone and Noriega. Salute, my brother. And I'm your host, Glenn Poo Harding, and you've been watching Basketball Heads. We are the official home for New York City basketball. Peace.